In 2010, I read this article in Bicycling Magazine about a family that took their kids, ages 9, 7, and 1, on a three-month bike trek across Canada. The parents didn't want their children to become, quote, disaffected kids who grow up trapped in climate-controlled, overscheduled, hermetically sealed childhood suffering Xbox carpal tunnel syndrome and nature deficit disorder. I get that. I really do. See, I was raised by ambitious parents who always tried to get us outside. And I've always planned on doing the adventurous stuff once my kids got older. But this article kind of opened up my eyes to things. This trip was actually Belize's idea. She got the bug to get out this winter, and so for our 2016 adventure, we planned a lodge-to-lodge -lodge cross country ski trek across Maine's 100 mile wilderness. We were going to drag and occasionally ski with kids, but there were still some big unknowns with gear. And then I met the ultimate neighbor of regional director REI. He had it all and hooked us up. I was maybe a little aggressive packing, but you never really know with three kids and mother nature. We had to train a little. Belize is a ninja warrior. She is in incredible shape and runs or works out almost every day. I thought about running, but ended up relying on my raw physical prowess and then threw in a few extra stair flights for good measure. Either way, we were fairly confident we could drag ourselves and our three kids six to eight miles a day for three days. The big day finally came. After a few hours of sleep, we got out of town early and made our way up to Greenville, Maine. Of course, right when we arrived, it started raining and our trails turned into icy washboards. Figuring out this cross country thing and it's so icy. Kids, are you asleep? They're out cold. In the cold. <laughs> what really made this trip possible were the full service remote lodges operated by the Appalachian Mountain Club. All we had to do was get there and they had the food, beds, bathrooms, and even showers and saunas. When we finally arrived that first day, we were totally beat, and even considered the easy way to the next lodge on the snowmobile people pod. But we devoured our dinner, lit a fire, popped an Advil, and after 10 hours of the most peaceful sleep I've had in months, woke up fresh. On day two, we started out with Eve on skis and Dan on snowshoes. This was a fun family picture, but not the most efficient. We are 0.1 miles in, off to a roaring start. Hey, Dana Tot, you warm, bud? Hey, Belize, good thing. Paired with extra stuff. Dane finally succumbed to a nap, but somehow our determined little six-year-old skied the entire seven miles to the next lodge. We kept thinking she was going to give, but she pushed on. And Dane strapped in the following day too. With no distractions, we had all sorts of life conversations with them along the trail. And we loved it. The weather kept improving and the sun shined, but this also meant a few melted trails. Belize was the mother of the year with her pulk packs, filled with toys, snacks, and busy activities. The kids weren't always perfect, but most of the time they slept, ate, or played. An occasional perk was hearing Dane's witty comments from the back seat. He'd laugh when we fell and tell us to mush going up hills. <laughs> By far, our favorite moments of the trip were at night, spending time together in those basic cabins. No screens, no distractions, no electricity, just four walls and beds. We read, watched the fire, told stories, laughed about the day, drew pictures and talked. Despite the hustle and bustle of things that fill my worries back home, I was reminded of how simple things could be, and I'd still be totally and completely happy. After all, I'm 31 years old, I have a 32 inch waist, and a wife and three kids who love me. What more do I need? Well, we've just finished our uh, three day adventure. 
And now, we just need to get on the main road. We are being escorted out to make sure we don't get stuck. We really gotta end on a bang with the, with the road out. Lightning McQueen.